Okay, thank you. Here are the starting lineups for this evening's game. At guard for Missouri, a 6'1 junior from Detroit, Michigan, number four, Lee Cowher. At guard for Illinois, a 6'4 junior from Madison, Illinois, number 13, Kendall Gill. At guard for Missouri, a 6'6 senior from Chicago, Illinois, number 21, Byron Urban. At guard for Illinois, a 6'6 junior from Carbondale, Illinois, number 35, Steve Bardo. At center for Missouri, a 7'1 inch senior from Belleville, Illinois, number 52, Gary Leonard. Forward for Missouri, a 6'8 senior from Washington, Missouri, number 42, Mike Sanbody. At forward for Illinois, a 6'6 junior from Chicago, Illinois, number 25, Nick Anderson. And at forward for Missouri, a 6'10 sophomore from Detroit, Michigan, number 34, Doug Smith. At forward for Illinois, a 6'6 senior from Aurora, Illinois, number 33, Kenny Battle. The head coach of the Missouri Tigers is Norm Stewart. The head coach of the Illinois Fighting Illini is Lou Henson. Tonight's well, there you have the look at the cast, the players and the coaches, and, Mike and we're going to return to St. Louis after these words from your local stations. Stewart is number eight. There you see the overall series. The Illini leads it 13 to five, and they've won the last five in a row. So the bragging rights have belonged to the Illini for the last five years. Kenny Battle jumping with Smith to tip control to Illinois, and Bardo stepped right in front to grab it out. That's Bardo working, and the Tigers quickly into a man-to-man -man. down the right-hand side. Nick Anderson breaking to the lane, doesn't get it in. Sam Bodie rebounds it out for the Tigers. It'll be interesting to see if uh, Missouri tries to run with the Illini, Dick. They're a lot bigger. I'm not sure they can keep up in the long run. Outside, Coward with it. Back to Smith. He's a good one. Jumps it up from the baseline. No good. Scramble for the ball. Underneath, they're going to call a jump ball. And it goes over to Missouri. That was an air ball on Smith's first shot. He's coming off a great tournament in the Missouri tournament they had last weekend. It was the tourney MVP. They get it in close to Leonard, has it slapped away by Battle, and a foul on Leonard. There's that Illini pressure defense that Illinois fans have come to know and love so far this season, and uh, certainly is a key in this ballgame tonight as well. Bardo will bring it up along with Kendall Gill. The referees tonight, Joseph Sylvester, Jim Burr out of the Big Ten, and Mike Curry, who is representing the Big Eight Conference. That's Bardo working out in the front court. Gives it to Anderson to battle. Battle shot, no, rebound, third away by Smith. And the Tigers come flying out of there with it. That's Howard with it. Goes all the way to the baseline, scoops it in close, and the shot is up and missed. That was tossed up by Irvin. And the foul is going to be charged on Illinois, and it appears Bardo picked up the foul. Irvin got down there quickly and got good position there in the paint. And really, that's all the Illini could do is foul him to prevent the easy basket, and he'll be up there for two shots. There's Lou Henson. He wants that offense to start moving around with the ball. Free throw good by Irvin. He hails from Julian High School in Chicago. He's a 6'6 senior. The leading scorer for the Tigers matches both of those free throws. And Missouri has taken an early lead. Here's Bardo working back for the Illini. Goes down underneath, it's Lowell Hamilton. Back to Kendall Gill, to Bardo. An interesting matchup in this game, Dick. I think it's Hamilton against Leonard. Hamilton going against another seven-footer. Of course, he fared pretty well against the way Smith is to Florida. That action happened away from the ball, and it was fouled on Kendall Gill. He worked against Lee Coward, and it's a foul on Kendall. 
Coach Henson certainly not happy with the way the Illini are executing the offense so far. They're 0 for 2 from the field. Didn't even get a shot that time down. Here's Irwin, and Nick Anderson shut him out from going inside. Comes back out in front to Coward. They got San Bode on the high post and down under the big guy Leonard. San Bode right there with it. Up the right side. Now they go down underneath the Smith. Back now, the Leonard shot blocked away. Goaltending is going to be called on Lowell Hamilton. The basket will count by Leonard. And Missouri leads it four to nothing. There you see Gary Leonard. 7-1. His brother played at Illinois during the years, 81, 82, 83. Here's a look at the replay there with Hamilton definitely up on the rim, knocking that ball away. It was a good call. Bardo flips to Anderson underneath Lowell Hamilton over the top of Leonard. Well, I feel that Hamilton can do that all night over Leonard. He's had good success uh, over other centers this year, and he's a good jumper, and he gets the shot off quickly. Out on the high post to Smith, back to Coward. Irvin. They got Bardo working on Irwin, and that's him with the ball over there right now into the corner. Goes underneath the Leonard. Leonard's shot. What a block by Battle! Anderson on the rebound. Let's make that Bardo on the rebound. And there's a foul on Missouri. The shot was taken by Lowell Hamilton. Now kind of an air ball tossed up there. But a moment ago, this is what the reject looked like. Teddy Battle, one of the best 6'6 players you'll find around the country anywhere. And he was certainly high up to block the shot off uh, Gary Leonard, the seven-footer. Great effort by Battle. He'll toss it inbounds underneath the Illinois basket. Kendall Gill over there to throw it in. Well, I'm not still trying to get on the board there after Hamilton got the first two. He put up another shot. That goes, not a good shot. Hamilton, uh, even though he has the only basket, has put up a couple questionable shots so far. Coward out in front. San Bode down in the corner. Back in front to Coward. Uh-oh, Smith. Traveling. There was a lot of shoving going on between Kenny Battle and Doug Smith before the pass really got inside to him, Steve. And you could see that Kenny Battle really forced him to turn the ball over with the travel. Norm Stewart didn't like that call very well, but uh, that was the case. First turnover for uh, Missouri. Comes out to Anderson, to Hamilton down underneath coming across the lane. Battle has it. Back in front to Pardo. My offense has not uh, clicked as well yet, very well yet, at, in the early going to trail by two. Battle inside there is what they need. Great play by Battle. They come up quickly to Irvin. Picked up by Lowell Hamilton, and now Bardo's got him. Missouri's doing a good job getting the ball in and up court quickly to avoid that line I press. They don't want anything to do with that. Ball out of bounds, batted away by Battle, and it's going to go back over to Missouri. It's all tied at four at the Arena of St. Louis. And nearly 19,000 fans are in here tonight. You know, it looks like it's pretty much a 50-50 split, uh, judging by the uh, noise when the There's teams came out. There's a long one from outside by Urban. Three-point shot by Urban. Hit nothing but the bottom of the net. Urban's averaging almost 18 and a half a game. He is the leading scorer. Kendall Gill with it on the point. Out to Anderson. Out in the corner, Bardo. Bardo trying to work in close, partially deflected by Leonard, out of there with it from Sam Bode. That was a good idea by Bardo, but Leonard got a hand on it. Irvin got for the easy one. And Irvin has got seven points for Missouri, and it's 9-5 Tigers. He played four minutes here in the first half. Anderson back on the front to Bardo. Down in the corner to Gill. Kendall back in front. Lowell Hamilton. Good job by Gill. Penetrating with a back pass as he worked down the baseline. Hamilton's got four now as the Illini come back within three at nine to six. Fifteen and a half here in the first half. Urban down in the corner. Sam Bode is loose for the open shot. Seems like Sam Bode's Marcus Liberty is going to come in for Illinois. And there's a break in the action here at the arena in St. Louis. Illinois down by five. And we're going to return after this on the Illini Sports Network.
Well, what about that quote? I think that pretty much is uh, the key to the ball game. Uh, no doubt about the fact that both coaches realize what the strong points of the other team are. To look at some of the uh, early stats, and uh, not very good. Uh, well, actually, this is uh, this is uh, seasonal stats on height versus quickness. Some of the early stats: the Illini shooting only 37 percent as we start the ball game. Missouri at 66 percent. That pretty much tells the story right now. Larry Smith is in the lineup along with Marcus Liberty, along with Battle, Kendall Gill, and Anderson. Let's make that Hamilton. Here's a jumper by Gill. No good, but Larry Smith has got the offensive rebound. Marcus Liberty from the side overshoots the basket, and Smith grabs off the rebound for Missouri. Why not not shooting the ball very well? Irvin with it. Back outside, Sam Bodie. That's Marcus Liberty on him. Underneath to the big guy, Leonard. Fires it back to Coward. Traveling with the ball. Out of bounds, Alan Moore. It's a second turnover on Missouri, both on traveling calls. Norm Stewart not too happy right there with that particular turnover. His team up by five. And over the line, Larry Smith. Battle, Hamilton. Hamilton's hot. He's got six in the early going. Smith over the line with Kenny Battle right on him. Back outside, Sam Bodie. Rebound by Lowell Hamilton. Up it comes to Smith. Down to Kenny Battle. Larry Smith losing the ball. Picked up by Sam Bodie. A three on one for the Tigers. Irvin. A foul is going to be called on Illinois. It's going to be on Hamilton, Dick. On Hamilton. Here's a look at the break with Larry Smith not being able to get through the heavy traffic down the baseline. Sandbody makes a nice uh, a nice steal, gets it out to Coward, who got the break going. And there's Irvin going into the layup. He missed it, but uh, threw the foul as they came back down. The short three, uh, Greg Church into the lineup for Missouri. Greg is a 6'8 senior, and he has checked in. The ball out of bounds to the Tigers, underneath their own basket to Irvin in the corner. Comes outside to Coward, back to Irvin. Larry Smith shuts him out of the baseline, turns around. Great move. I tell you, that was a big league move there for Irvin as he's got nine points now in the night. As Missouri leads it 13 to 8, 13 30 to go here in the first half. Marcus Liberty out to Gill. Back now to battle. Here's Hamilton from outside. Another rebound for the Tigers. Church was wide open, but nobody saw him down here. Now they set back up. Coward on the drive. That drive was by Coward, and he dished it right off and put in by Urban. Urban's having a great first half. And Missouri has certainly come to play. There you see it. Coward takes it in, draws the defense into him. Then he dishes it off around Hamilton, and Urban lays it in, and he's fouled. Here comes Coward on the drive, gets a step on Kendall Gill, then flips it around. Hamilton, Larry Smith was on his back as the ball went in, and Irvin has a chance for a three-point play. Bardo coming back into the lineup for Illinois. Anderson in there now, along with Gill, Battle, and Hamilton. That's the original starting unit on the court for the Illini. Irvin. Three-point play for... Byron Irvin, he's off to a great start. Bardo walking it across for Illinois. Back to battle. Illinois having a tough time getting it to his offensive flow. They're not getting many shots, and when they do, they're not getting many second shots. You know, you talk about quickness, Steve. You would think the quickness could get the open shot, but they're not being able to do it. There they get it inside, and the shot is up by Battle, and Smith is guilty, I believe, of the foul. Yeah, Smith was all over, and that'll be his first foul, and we'll send Ken Battle to the line. Well, they're going to call it on Sam Bodie and not Smith. That's a second-team foul there. Irvin Small getting sent to check into the Illinois lineup. Low Hamilton will take a breather. Hamilton's been about the only offensive threat so far. He's got six of the eight points but uh, Lou saw something he didn't like at this particular point, and Lou will take a seat. For Missouri, another change. Anthony Peeler, who is a 6'4 freshman from Kansas City, 
Raw spell, Sam Bodie. Beeler was the Missouri Mr. Basketball last year, one of the most highly sought after uh, high school seniors in the country. Mizzou got him, and they had a great recruiting year. Kenny Battle making the free throw. Norm Stewart, 506 career victories. Most of them at Missouri, by the way. This is his 22nd year coaching Tiger basketball. Line that back to within six now. It's 16 to 10, 12.30 to go in the first half. Howard. Well, they missed the back door right there to Irvin. And Nick Anderson got him. And Howard fires up the left side. Two well, points for Coward. Missouri's got a bunch of shooters. Yes, they Coward. do. They're shooting uh, very well. They were shooting 66% just a moment ago. They certainly aren't... Uh, hurting that at all. They're 7 out of 11 from the field so far. Here's the guy Illinois has got to get on track right there. Nick Anderson hasn't scored yet in the game. Kendall Gill trying to go for the shot. Loses it, but it's touched before it goes out. By Illinois, Howard. As we mentioned, uh, Missouri 7 out of 11. On the other hand, the Illini only 4 out of 11 from the field, so there's a difference thus far as Larry Smith gets set to check back in for Illinois. Anderson will toss in as Larry Smith checks in for Kendall Gill. Smith has got a lot of friends here from nearby Alton is where he played his high school basketball just across the river. Smith flips into the corner and Bardo. Nice strong move by Bardo, but it wouldn't go down. The ball lost out of bounds by Urban Small. It'll go back to Missouri. That's the second time Bardo's been able to drive, but he couldn't, uh, couldn't get it to fall. Well, there's a break in the action here at the arena in St. Louis. And Illinois down by eight. And we're going to return to St. Louis after these words from your local station. Illinois and the Tigers going at it here. Dick Martin along with Steve Kelly. And it's been all Mizzou so far. Outside to Coward. Standing on top of the key. Now Irvin, he's had a hot night so far. Breaks to the foul line. Gives it out to Peeler. Back underneath. Lost out of bounds. And it's going to be a foul. Before it went out of bounds by Greg Church of Missouri. It was a good defensive play by Irvin Small as Church picks up his first foul. Irvin was in to knock the ball out of bounds, and uh, they got uh, Church for pushing off on the play. Norm Stewart not too happy with that. That's the fourth Missouri turnover here in the first half. Lonai trailing by eight at 18 to, uh, 18 to 10. Larry Smith to Nick Anderson. That's what they need. Getting Nick to break to the basket with a power move, and Illinois down by six now. 11 minutes and 18 seconds to go in the first half. It was Nick's first shot on the night. They've got to get him the ball more up. Outside, Peeler has it. Back to Coward. On into the corner goes Coward. Here's a jumper by Peeler. No good. Hustling in the corner. And there's going to be a foul, I'm sure. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought that Greg Church had shoved off on Small, but they didn't call it that way. It was a good effort on both those guys over there as they uh, went for that loose ball. Church uh, heading into the uh, first row there of the, the crowd here. As we mentioned, uh, 19,000 or so here at the arena in St. Louis. Standing room only. Down to Nick Anderson in the corner. Nick's got a freshman working on him, Anthony Peeler. I think the Illini realize that. They want to get it to him. A charge. On Steve Pardo. Second foul on Steve. Fifteen foul on the Illini. So out of bounds. To Missouri. San Bode checking back into the lineup and this time replacing Irvin. Illinois turned it over three times here in the first half. They're still not uh, getting their offense into the, the kind of groove I know they want to get it in. This is a basketball team, Missouri, that has lost to Syracuse in overtime. And lost. The shot is up and a little shoving going on underneath the basket. It's on Illinois. Well, they, don't, uh, they don't seem to be letting them play under the basket a lot right now. This, uh, this Jim different. Burr called the foul. And it's on Irvin Small. Kendall Gill will check back in for the line. First foul in, on uh, Irvin Small. We're just about at the halfway point of the first half, with Missouri still hanging on to that uh, six-point lead at 18 to 12. Lot of shooting we mentioned earlier, uh, not very good. Well, it's gotten worse. And now shooting 33 percent in the field. Drive Sam Bodie puts it off of the glass. Sam Bodie's got four on the night, and Mizzou leads it again by eight. Come out to Kendall Gill, to Irvin Small. 
And Small throws the ball away, trying to get it down on the baseline to Anderson. And here come the Tigers, Coward. Now we're pulled up with a three-pointer. And that's got this crowd going here as Mizzou opens up a nine-point lead at 23 to 12. Kendall Gill charging to the stripe, can't get it inside, goes up back to Smith. Back down to Gill from the side. And Kendall Gill, that's his first basket. Now it's a nine-point lead, it was 11. Smith lets one go from outside, and what shooting by the Tigers, that's his first basket, but just tremendous shooting. Well, this game is heating up now, Dick. Updating a score, Purdue 48, Wichita State 41. Here's Anderson with it. Irvin Small. Tipped outside. Batted right back now to Sam Bodie. The line have got to get on the board. They're getting killed on the board so far. They get one shot, and that's it. Peeler down underneath. Smith loses it out of bounds. And it's going to go back over to Illinois. Back into the lineup. Lowell Hamilton back into the lineup. Irvin Small will sit down. Missouri's turned it over five times, but they still uh, have control of this ball game with just under nine minutes to go in the first half. Missouri leading 25-14. Larry Smith pushing it across the line. Peeler has got him one-on-one. -on -one. Back now to Gill. Down underneath. Here's where they got to work. Good move by Battle on the turnaround jump shot. Battle's not very tall when you look at some of the guys he's going against, but he's a great leaper, and he gets the shot off very quickly. Howard has it in front. Down to Peeler. Now they go under the church. Back to Peeler. Now to Smith. Peeler. Nice move. What a great block by Anderson. Anderson leads the Illini and blocks shots, and there you can see why. As he got up quickly, no way this ball's going to get anywhere close to the basket. Anderson comes from the weak side and knocks it into about the fourth row. Peeler, pretty good move around Larry Smith, but Anderson was all over that ball. For Missouri, Irvin comes into the lineup. Howard will sit down. Irvin has been the best offensively for the Tigers thus far. 13 points in the game. Sam Bodie will inbound it. Way out in front to Peeler. Larry Smith. Now underneath, easy shot put in by Smith. Well, let's make that Button. He has come on. Nathan Button out of Detroit, a 6'9 junior. His father, a great player in Michigan some years back. Lowell Hamilton for Illinois. He's got Hamilton's working successfully in the paint there, getting up uh, over the bigger guys. He's got eight points. Urban. Shot up and a foul on Anderson. Oh, Illinois is loafing back on defense, Steve Kelly. Yes, they are. That's something that uh, they usually get the uh, other team on uh, when they have the ball, but they've got to get back. They've got to hit the boards and get back. Here's a look at the block shot and also the foul. Anderson definitely was all over his arm there as uh, he tried to lay it up and in, and Byron over and will go to the line for two. Marcus Liberty is into the lineup for Illinois, and Kenny Battle will sit down. There's Byron Irvin out of Julian High School in Chicago for Missouri, and the ball rims out. That's the first one that he has missed from the line. He was three for three up until then. He's got that one. And there's a break in the action from the arena, and we'll return after this on the Illini Sports Network. And welcome back to the arena in St. Louis, Missouri. Dick Martin along with Steve Kelly as the Fighting Illini find themselves down by 10. And we've got 7.52 yet to be played here in the first half. Well, it's a pretty good time right now, Steve, to say Dan Rowan's uh, wife gave birth to a baby, Jason Michael, another boy. Three boys now for Dan. That explains why you're sitting in with me tonight. We're having fun. Yes, we are. We uh, wish the best of the Rowan family, certainly in Chicago. Here's a look at the shooting. You can see... Uh, just exactly why Missouri has that 10-point lead. The Illini is still not shooting the ball very well at all, and they've got to find somebody that can do the job defensively on number 21, Byron Irvin. He's got 13 of Missouri's 28 points at this point. Kendall Gill trying to break for the basket, and he has been fouled, and it's on Peeler. That's his first foul on the freshman 15th foul for Missouri. Illini will have it in play under their own basket. 7.45 to go here in the first half. 
Larry Smith will inbound it. In close, Lowell Hamilton doesn't get it up. Retrieved down in front by Smith. Back now, and what a slam by Hamilton. That'll get him fired up. Hamilton just took it down the baseline and put it home with authority. Marcus Liberty on Sam Bodie, down on the side. Back out to Peeler and out to Irvin. He's the one they got to shut out. Goes underneath. A foul on Kendall Gill. Well, Stewart says that's all right with him, but Lou Henson not real happy about that call. That's the third foul on Kendall Gill. A lot of fans have been accustomed to seeing Lowell Hamilton drive that baseline with a slam, and here's a look at it there, no doubt about it, as Irvin tried to go up and contest it, but there was no way he was going to get a piece of that basketball. Here's Peeler, a 67% free throw shooter on the year, and the southpaw puts it up and out of there, tipped back out in front, and the Tigers get a break. Good work down underneath by Bunton. He kept it alive. They go down close, shot is up, and it's in by Peeler. A tough shot there. Baseline leaning jump shot. He got it over two guys at a difficult angle, but got it to go down. The Tigers back in front by 10. The biggest lead thus far was 11. Anderson out to Smith. They've done a good job defensively, Dick, on Anderson. He's only got two points uh, thus far, and they're denying the ball uh, very well to him. Uh, Smith turns it over. Here's Irvin driving. They're playing, they're playing Illinois right off of the floor right now. Marcus Liberty, that was a no-nonsense shot. Well, not a, fire him up like that, I'll tell you, when you're this far behind. Not a good shot. Irvin. He hit it. Missouri Tigers are hot in St. Louis. I'll tell you right now, they lead by 15. We're going to return to St. Louis after these words from your local station. Well, welcome back to the arena in St. Louis as the Tigers are red hot, and there's one of the reasons why. That young man right there. Right, whatever. It looked like he might have gotten fouled on that drive. The basket did go down. He came back and fired in a three-pointer. Here's another steal. That was done. or 12 points, brother down by 17, and we'll find out. Marcus Liberty working out in front, right side, Pardo. Another three. Again, they throw it away. Here's Peeler driving. Nick Anderson follows up for the rebound, and out it comes to Pardo. Well, the Illini got to get something going uh, in a positive manner here to try to nip a. Uh, Nip back into this ball game. They trail by 17 with five minutes, just over five minutes to go in the first half. Down underneath, and the foul is going to be called on Sam Bodie. That was nearly another turnover. Sam Bodie ended up getting a piece of Blow Hamilton's arm, but uh, again, Missouri playing great defense down there, not uh, letting Illinois do what it wants to do when it gets into its own offensive uh, scheme of things. Sam Bodie seems like he's been here for about 10 years. He's a senior and a very solid player. Bardo flips way out in front to Liberty. Down under to Lowell Hamilton. His shot is no good, and a charge is going to be called on Hamilton. Coach Henson not at all happy with that call as he is up talking with the referees. It looked like, uh, take another look at it, it looked as though that he was pushed before he got the ball, and they called him for leaning in. That's the eighth turnover for the Illini. Peeler all by himself down the middle, flips it off, and it's batted away by Liberty out of bounds. And it will go back over to the Tigers. Missouri's still getting down awfully quickly. Illinois not getting back. Sam Bodie will toss in to Peeler and out of Smith. Boy, what a jumper up by Smith. He looked like he was at the top of the arena. Here's the ball slapped away, and Illinois is not playing alert. Hamilton for the shot, and he has hammered down. And it's going to be underneath on Missouri. It's either Smith or Bunton. They both were down there. It's on the, Bunton. Here's a look at it as Hamilton had intentions of putting 
went up on that short shot there as, as he was nailed as he went down and tried to bank it off the glass. Doug Smith and the Nate Buddy both right down there on the scene. Coach Henson uh, is up off the bench for the last couple of minutes trying to get him to push it up. They're not, they're not moving in their offensive flow as they have in the past. Hamilton's having a pretty good game. He's got uh, 10 points on the night. But nobody else seems to be doing much offensively. Our guard play has been at almost a standstill. Bardo has not scored, and Gill only has two. And again, Anderson only has two. They're still having trouble getting Nick the basketball. Yeah. And Hamilton missing the free throw, his first of the night. Well, I definitely rattled at this point. Trailing by 17, 4.44 to go. Ball Hamilton. Had a lane violation, so that first shot didn't count. So he missed it anyway. He missed two of them. He'll get a third one now. And he got that one. The press by Illinois has not been effective at all. As you can see right there, Sam Bodie working all the way down without any problems. That side, Coward works. Back to Smith. Now to Coward. Coward against Bardo. Well, I try to turn up the pressure on that defense. San Bode, here's a jumper. It's up, and it's good. Off of the glass by Smith. That was one of those look-what-I-found baskets. 39-21. Again, 17-point lead for Mizzou. Bardo. That helps. Three-point shot. Looks to me like they're going to let Bardo take that shot, and that was the first one he did take. The press is on, and Missouri having a bit of trouble, but it looks like they'll get it across without any problem now. It's the first time tonight they've had any problems with the pressure. And they didn't have a whole lot of press, uh, troubles with that, really. And the five second, five second call. call. Out of bounds. It goes to Illinois over on the side. That's a direct result of that pressure defense. That's what Lou needs to see. Six turnover for Missouri here. 39 to 24, Missouri as Lou holds up 24. If you ask him what it means, he won't tell you. It means Nick Anderson with a 15-footer didn't go. And Missouri has rebound. literally controlled the defensive boards the Tigers have, and Illinois gets one shot, and that's it. Oh, Coward maneuvering around with no one on him. Looks back to Smith. Outside Sam Bodie. Irvin underneath the Leonard. A good job blocking him off. Almost had the turnover. Smith now. Sam Bodie takes a couple of steps. Loses the ball. Anderson back to Marcus Liberty. Look out. Last move by Liberty as he had a guy coming up from behind. He maintained the dribble and laid it in. The line I have cut it down to 13. Just under three minutes to go here in the first half. Sam Foley whips it underneath. It's a little live ball. Hey, that battle is there for it. Oh, oh no. No basket. Battle leaned in and the cause of the charge. Again, Coach Henson not happy about that. We'll take a look at it. As battle came down with a loose ball. And Sam Foley hustles back to get in defensive position. They say he was. It looked like he might have been moving a little bit. At any rate, they call the foul on battle. And Kenny, not crazy about that call. Here's another look as Sam Bode leans in. Battle leans in as well. The call goes against Kenny Battle. I'll tell you, that was a big turnaround for Illinois. They had a chance to narrow it to 11 points. And that came at a very costly time with only two and a half minutes to go here in the half. Battle made the basket, but they did not allow it. Momentum had started to swing somewhat. Wheeler. Down into the corner it goes. That's Irvin with it underneath the church. Gives it back to Button. He's on his back. Basket, I don't believe, will count. Oh, the basket. foul is on Smith. Doug Smith was on the back there, and he did tip the ball in. But he was all over a couple of guys there. Oh, here's a young man that was up in the air. Points the opposite side. He came charging down, and he was uh, climbed right up Marcus Liberty's back. Although Liberty didn't do a great job blocking him out. He did uh, get by him, but he caught him with the body. Norm Stewart. Looking on there. Norm, of course, uh, one of the more successful coaches in the country, as is Lou Henson. More than a 1,000 wins between these guys. Bardo at the line with a one-and-one. 
Cardinal hitting 78% from the foul line. He knocks the first one down. Andy Lonnie could get back to within 11 here if he can for second one. He misses and he might not get the rebound. That's a battle. Liberty. How do you pass to Marcus Liberty from Ken Battle? Boy, was he in the air on that one. That was a perfect pass. The Illini back to within 10. You can hear this Illini crowd. There's a charge on Peeler. And the momentum is definitely switching at this point. The orange and blue crowd on its feet. You talk about momentum starting to swing around. There's going to be a break in the action, but we're going to keep it here. And you watch all of this going right here by Liberty. Well, that ball might have gone in without Liberty tipping it in. It looked like Battle almost put it in the basket. Liberty was high up there to, to guide it home, but it was uh, almost too good a pass for F. Very well could have been goaltending on that play as Liberty was up around the rim. It looked uh, to me like the ball was going in the basket uh, off of Battle's hands on the pass, but... Uh, I think they accredited the basket to Liberty, so at any rate, it's a 39-29 ball game. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Boy, just a moment ago, Steve Kelly, Illinois was down, I believe, by 17 points at one time. They were down by 17, and things weren't looking very good, and they had to get back and maybe knock it under 10 or at least at 10 to feel like they've got a shot. It turned up the defense, and it's worked so far. Well, there you see, in the last three games... Illinois has led an average of nine and a half points, or about a little over nine and a half at half. And of course, they've won all three of those games. They are five in a row here, the last five games against the Tigers. Bardo working out, gives it to battle. Now down to the corner, Lowell Hamilton traveling with the ball. Hamilton took uh, one too many steps. That's 10 turnovers here in the first half on the Illini. They do have their shooting up a little bit, Dick, they're up to 50%, so they were shooting in the low 30s there in the early going, so that helps. Pressure again being put on by Illinois. This is Doug Smith, he's 6'10", and look at him move with that ball. Smith driving, gives it right back to Church. That side peeler has it. A minute and a half remaining here in the first half. Irvin against Liberty. A lot of pushing and shoving going on underneath there. Underneath Smith. I think he walked, but they didn't call it. Anderson high for the rebound. Boy, did Anderson muscle the ball out of there. And Zapardo. Steve, one of the smartest players in the ball club. He holds it out and says, let's run the offense. And it goes to Hamilton. He drives the lane. And Illinois, they get spurts going, and then they all of a sudden get cold. And that's what's happened right now. Under a minute to go now in the first half. Out of bounds, Illinois. That firing pass sent by Smith inside the button was too hot to handle. Yeah, he couldn't hang on, and uh, Norm Stewart's team turns it over to the Illini. Small comes in, and Smith comes in for Illinois. Hamilton will sit down, and Steve Bardo will sit down. 56 seconds left in the first half. The Illini now with the ball and a chance to get it under that 10-point margin. Walking back is Larry Smith. The clock in the red. We're down to 50 seconds to play. Smith better get rid of it. He finally does to Anderson. And out of battle. Three-pointer. Kenny Battle is 100% on the year for three-point range. Three for three. Illinois back within seven. Illinois really picking up a little momentum and intensity on defense right here. We can see it right in front of us, Steve. I think Battle surprised him with that three-point shot. They are working on defense in St. Louis right now, I'll tell you. We're down to seven and down to six. Underneath, the ball slapped away. And out of there comes Anderson. To put it up. Didn't get it up. Well, nonetheless, the Illini have fought themselves back from a 17-point deficit at one time to trail by only seven points at intermission in a jam-packed house at the arena in St. Louis. And I'm 
might add a very noisy house. And I think a lot of our fans have got to feel a lot better than they did 10 minutes ago. When Illinois was down by 17. They've cut 10 points off that lead. They're back to within seven. And it uh, should be a very exciting second half. Well, we're going to return to St. Louis after these words from your local stations. Battle in Anderson. This is Anderson. Back to Pardo and a steal. What a play by Coward. He'll go the distance and it's nice blocked block. away. And it's out of bounds, Illinois. Pardo did a magnificent job of recovering to block the shot by Coward. Look at this one. You know, Bardo was the one that turned the ball over, and you got to give him a lot of credit. He did not give up on the play. He followed the ball as Coward had the breakaway layup. Bardo following all the way and got the clean block off the glass. Play resumes with Kendall Gill going down underneath the Lowell Hamilton, and he is fouled by Leonard. That's obvious. The Atlanta tried to push the ball inside as Leonard picks up his second foul. They think uh, Hamilton uh, is uh, so much quicker than Leonard. He could get around him and get up over the top of him, and they're going to work on him in that area. Lowell Hamilton at the line with two. Hamilton uh, hitting just about 70% of his foul shots on the year as he gets the first one home. Low with his plaid jacket and per pretty pink shirt on tonight. Hamilton hits them both. For those of you that have never been to the arena in St. Louis, this is where the Blues play ice hockey, and we are on top of the ice. I should say the floor is between the ice <laughs> and us, but I'll tell you, it feels like you're on the ice. It is cold. Down under to Smith, and he works for the shot. Yeah, that breaks the Missouri dry spell there of about uh, five minutes or so, a little over five minutes. As they get uh, some points on the board and lead 41-34. Bardo with it. They're looking inside for Anderson, but they can't get it in there. San Bode doing a good job on him. Bardo gets it to battle. Now it down to Lowell Hamilton. He got it. Hamilton. To Gary Again, Leonard. Missouri gets it across with no problem. San Bode all the way, and he is fouled by Hamilton. A great drive by Mike Sanbody. That's three fouls now on Hamilton. Here's a look at Sanbody. The life a lot of again uh, not getting back on defense. Sanbody not the fastest guy in the world, but he was fast enough to get down and get that basket in and pick up the foul. Hamilton is back. Sanbody comes down and Hamilton. It looked like he might have been there, but they called him for the block. Free throw miss. Rebounded away by Hamilton. 43-36, still a seven-point lead for the Tigers. Off to Kendall Gill. They're really trying to jam things down inside. Anderson to Kenny Battle. Overshoots the basket. Out of there with it comes Coward. Fires a pass down, and Kendall Gill has got a steal for Illinois. Down to Lowell Hamilton. Hamilton's got the touch. 17 for Hamilton. Illinois trails by five. San Bode all the way to the baseline. Underneath the shot is missed. Rebound to Nick Anderson. Kenny Battle two on one to Kendall Gill. Kendall Gill down in a hurry on the break as he got it in. The Illini pressure again doing the job now. Illini down by only three. Kenny Battle deflected the pass, but there was no teammate there to pick up the loose ball a moment ago. San Bode has it. And we've got a mighty noisy arena in St. Louis right now. And you can hear the Illini fans as they come to their feet. This is Doug Smith and a whistle away from the play. Apparently on Kenny Battle. That's his second. Battle has two fouls and the substitutions for the ball game four. And Anthony Peeler also in the game for Mizzou. San Bode will toss it in. Way out in front. And Irvin can't get it. It's out of bounds, Illinois. There's that defense again. And Missouri turns it over. Marcus Liberty is going to come into the lineup for Illinois right now. Missouri's turned it over 11 times now in the uh, evening. Liberty checking and replacing Lowell. Sit down with three fouls. The Lowell has been great tonight. He has 
has had a total of 17 points in the game thus far. Well, with a chance to cut it down to one or possibly even tie it up with a three-point shot here. Bardo working it around to Nick Anderson. What a shot, but it's no good. A tip in by Kendall Gill. Kendall Gill got good uh, positioning on the board there as he tipped it in and got the foul. Anderson with a tough lean-in jump shot over Smith. There's Gill with good position. They had a couple of bigger guys in there with him, but Gill had good position and Peeler was on his back. Gill with a chance to put the Illini into a tie at 43 with just over 17 minutes left in the ball game. So Gill has been the spark plug here in the second half with six or rather five points here in the second half, so Gill doing the job. Dealer, foul on Gill. And he's a little bit too aggressive in that, that particular one. On Kendall. The third on Illinois in this half, but it's out of bounds to the Tigers. Comes to Peeler. Larry Smith is coming into the lineup in a moment for Illinois. He'll probably replace Gill. Church with it. Down into the corner to Smith. Fires to San Bodie. Right back to Peeler coming off the pick, and he's got it. Good ball movement by Missouri there. Peeler put up the left handed six footer off the glass, and Mizzou has the lead again. There's a, another steal by Missouri. I'll tell you, Bardo is not with it right now. Over and back on Missouri. It's out of bounds, Illinois. Missouri is handing the Illini a little bit of their own medicine as they're playing the pressure defense. And Bardo, as you mentioned, having a tough time at this point. Steve Bardo, a little bit lackadaisical, I'll tell you. Steve, that's not like him to play that way. No, it isn't. He's coming across uh, a little too lax, walking the ball up. Larry Smith into the ball game now. Larry Smith with it. Got it off to Bardo. Back now to Battle. Battle starting to drive on San Bodie. He picks up his third. Yeah, San Bodie couldn't stay with Kenny right there. That was probably a good foul as uh, Battle was going to get around him. Not much uh, problem with it. And Battle was heading uh, down the baseline. So San Bodie got the reach in foul before he could get by. Larry Smith inbounds to Bardo on the near side. Bardo makes a good move. Back now to Marcus. He traveled. He shuffled his uh, pivot foot before he made the drive towards the basket. Out of bounds to Missouri. 45-43. Missouri leads by two. 16-18 to go in the ball game. Church working it. Back in front, Sam Bodie. The peeler. Down into the corner to Irvin. Pressure. Peeler couldn't find anything to do with it. 13 turnovers now on the zoo. Over the line comes Larry Smith. Smith working off of a pick by Liberty. Gives back to Bardo. And now to Smith. Boy, Missouri has got great quickness out in front. Illinois is going to have to be more alert passing the basketball. And here's Bardo breaking off the Smith. Underneath, Marcus Liberty for the shot. Can't get it. Battle gets it up and in. The Illini got a break there because Liberty shot Foul hit the backboard. Foul on Bardo. And that's three on Steve Bardo, the fourth on Illinois in this half. There's a break in the action at the arena in St. Louis. We're going to return after these words from your local stations. And welcome back to the arena in St. Louis, Missouri. The score is all tied. 45-45. Dick Martin along with Steve Kelly. And Illinois will put the ball in play at the front of the court. Anderson gets it into Larry Smith. Smith moving it across the line. Irvin Small, that's setting the pick there. Bardo has it. Back now to Kenny Battle. Outside to Bardo. Underneath, they try to get it underneath there to Smith, and they throw it away. I tell you, both teams having trouble with turnovers tonight. Doug Smith. 14 on the Illini. Peeler outside, Coward. And now to Smith. Doug Smith lets a long one go. Rebounding by Illinois underneath there. It's picked up somewhat. Bardo. Illini had three guys on that and almost lost it out of bounds. Larry Smith. 
might watch for the alley oop one of these times down there, Dick. But Randall threw that away and Buggins, or rather Smith, stepped out of bounds. But I think Illini are trying to set up the alley oop to Kenny Battle or Nick Anderson. Nick Anderson had his back turned to the pass, but well, fortunately for Illinois, when Smith grabbed the loose ball out of the air, he came down on the baseline. So Illinois gets a break here. Smith driving for the basket. Gets underneath, traveling with the ball. Well, we've had a lot of traveling violations tonight. Illinois with 15 turnovers. Out of bounds to the Tigers at the far end of the court. Peeler, Anthony Peeler, the freshman out of Kansas City. Inbounds it to Coward. Here's what's happened in the turnover department. Not good for either team. Coward working against Smith. Almost another one there. Oh, what a there steal by battle. The turnovers are all even up. Boy, he stepped right in front of Doug Smith and snarled the ball right out of the air. Over the line, Larry Smith. Got battle. Good give and go. Urban Small took one too many steps and another turnover by Illinois. Well, I tell you, these guys must feel like dancing tonight the way they're shuffling their feet. Uh, that's got to be a half dozen turnovers on traveling violations. Lou Henson has not got to be happy about that, I'm sure. He's picking up there, Marcus Liberty. Look at the steps. Boy, he had the open shot, too. No doubt about it. He had the open shot, although it didn't go in. But uh, he shuffled the feet first. Liberty. Liberty comes out now. Liberty into the ball game. Missouri putting the ball in play at the far end. Comes in to Irvin. It's still tied at 45. That clock shows 13.55 to play. Irvin down into the corner, outside the church. Coward, Doug Smith, give and go underneath the button. He got away from somebody there, and uh, Anderson uh, had him on the front, but he got it by Anderson, and Bardo was uh, not able to pick him up, and he got the easy two. Here's Nick Anderson off of the glass, and he can't, but he gets the rebound and puts it up and in. It's going to count, and a foul on Missouri. Anderson is really tough under the boards, and he's got to get that way. Get the line, I have a chance there, and he was tough, got the good second effort in the foul. There's Nick on the offensive glass. Smith couldn't bring it down. Anderson got back in, got fouled a couple of times, got the basket and the foul. Foul is on Smith, and to the line, Nick Anderson with a score tied. Illinois can take the lead for the very first time tonight with 13 and a half minutes to play in the game. Anderson's first trip to the foul line. Rebound Smith of Missouri up to Coward. Nearly loses the ball, comes back outside. This game has been tied three times all here in the second half. In case you just joined us, Illinois was down by 17 in the first half. There's Irvin. That's his first bucket of this half. Gives him 20 points in the game. The Tigers back in front. Here's Anderson. Boy, what a power move that was and a foul on Doug Smith, and that's his third. That's what they've got to do, Dick. They've got to get the ball to Nick. He's their best scorer. He's their best offensive weapon. He's their best rebounder. They've got to get it into him, and uh, he's going to be doing the job for them. There's a look at the foul. As Battle makes the pass to Nick coming down the lane. Nice spin move, and he gets hammered, no doubt about that. I think I said that that was the third on Doug Smith. I'll correct myself. That's his second foul and not his third. So Nick Anderson going to the line. Missouri making a change. Church, there you see, sitting down. He's been replaced by Mike Sanbody. And Nick Anderson will have two. Nick struggled a bit from the foul line, hitting only 61% on the year. And he hit this is another, but he's 0 for 2. He's actually shooting almost uh, better from the field than he is from the foul line. He's 60% from the field. Missed him both. Rebound to battle. So the line I got on the offensive board that time, and we're tied again for the fourth time at 49. That button out, Coward, three-point shot. That's his second three-pointer of the night. The Tigers lead by three. Over the line comes Larry Smith, makes a great move. Battle got knocked down to the floor, but no call. 
Boy, the Tigers go racing down. Doug Smith with a jumper. Doesn't get it. Boy, a loose rebound. Picked up. Missed by Irvin. Marcus Liberty has got the next for Illinois. Gets it up to Gill. Kendall. Off the glass. Gill with a 15-footer off the glass. And the Illini back to within a point at 52-51. 12 minutes to go in the game. Boy, if you like basketball, folks, stick around. Don't know what the score of that football game is, but it can't be any more exciting than this, I'll tell you. Coward leans in, doesn't shoot it up. San Bodie back on the side to Smith. Underneath is Button. Over Liberty. No. Rebound, Nick Anderson. And Nick's going to work now. Here's a foul. It's on Irvin. It's his first. Fourth on the Tigers in this half. Well, a lot of folks have wondered how the Illini would play in a ball game when they were down. We're finding well, out there's now. a break in the action at the arena in St. Louis. 52-51, the Tigers lead. And we're going to return after this on the Illini Sports Network. Underneath the basket, a foul is going to be called on Button of Missouri. Second foul on uh, Nathan Button. As the Illini is still down by a point, and I think Missouri is going to take a, a timeout right here, Dick. Norm Stewart was really, really upset there for a moment, I'll tell you. 52-51, and we're going to return to St. Louis after these words from your local stations. And welcome back to the arena as you see the Illinois Pep Band have journeyed down to participate in this Magnificent battle between Illinois and Missouri, and boy, it's everything they thought it was said it was going to be, Steve. Here it is, 52-51, with only 11.35 to go in the game, and at the free throw line for the Illini, steps Kenny Battle. Battle with a chance to tie the ball game up or put the Illini ahead as they trail by one. 11 and a half minutes to go. We started to say earlier, a lot of Illini fans were wondering how Illinois might react if they got down by 10 or 12 points because they've been ahead all year long, and they're finding out tonight, Illinois down by 17 at one point in the first half. Here's and they can't hit the foul throw. shots. Rebound comes back to Illinois. Kenny Battle has it. I thought they were going to say he got two shots, but apparently only the one and one. Marcus Liberty. To Larry Smith. Across to Marcus is open for three. Got it. Liberty's first three-pointer of the night, and the Illini have the lead for the first time at 54-52. Under the alley-oop, it's good by Smith. And that lead didn't last very long. It's tied up again, this time for the fifth time. We talked about Illinois trying to get that alley-oop. Missouri went with it and got it down. Here's Larry Smith with it. Gets it off to Nick Anderson. Under to Kenny Battle. I'll tell you, when you get in a ball game like this, or any ball game, really, you won't find anybody playing any harder than Kenny Battle. He's getting warmed up. Outside, Coward working. Underneath the goes to Irwin. The foul is going to be on Larry Smith, I believe. Smith and Liberty were both there, but I think the foul will go on Smith. Here's a look at it. As Coward works around the side, looks inside to Irvin. He's got baseline position. That was about the only thing Larry Smith could do. He came over the back, picked up the second foul. Looking for his 21st point. Byron Irvin, a 6'6 senior from Julian in Chicago, Illinois. He's Missouri's leading scorer, averaging 18. He's uh, well past that now with 22. And it's tied up at 56. Smith. Battle. Doesn't get it. Out of bounds. Illinois will have it. Oh, and Nathan Button went into the press table at the end of the court there. As Battle went down, and here's a look at it. Battle goes up. He looks like he might be undercut. He goes down. Sandbody goes down, Button goes for the uh, save, then up on the desk. So a good effort by both teams there. Should have been a foul called way back in the middle of the court, Steve. There's Lou, I'm sure. A little puzzled. Kenny Battle with a jumper. It's good. Foul on Button. It'll count. He'll go to the line and try for three. Battle has really come to play here in the second half. He has eight points in the second half after scoring nine in the first half. Battle is certainly the inspiration and the
the spark of this ball club as he has been in so many games. Gary Leonard checking back into the lineup for the Tigers, replacing Bunton. And going to the line, Kenny Battle of Illinois. He'll get the one shot. Chance at completing the three-point play. He's got it. Illinois leads by three. Doug Smith across to San Bodhi. Biggest lead of the night for Illinois at three. What a play on by Bell. Great effort. He throws it back into Liberty. Liberty down to Kendall. Awesome. Charge on Gill. Kendall was a bit out of control, although I don't think, I don't think uh, that, that upsets uh, Coach Hesse too much, although it is Kendall's fourth foul. But uh, they had good effort. Battle again with a steal. He spins in midair, throws it back in. Liberty let the pass go a little too soon, and Gill made the nice play, then uh, put the shoulder down and got the charge, but uh, he'll have to come out. Hamilton comes in. There you see Kendall Gill sitting down with the fourth foul. So we've got Smith, Battle, Anderson, Liberty, and Hamilton on the court. Hamilton playing with three fouls. Pressure being put on. Howard gets it away from the trap. Starts to drive, can't get it. They fire they it up way. court. Larry Smith. Liberty. Beautiful pass to Larry Smith. Coach Henson wants the Illini back to get in the press. Nobody was back to press. Missouri walks the ball up. Across the line is Coward. Illinois leads at 61-56. There's Hamilton batting the ball out of bounds as they try to get it to Leonard in the moment. Has really switched around at Nordenstort. You can see is a little bit on the concern side to say the least, right there. Boy, Illinois has really turned up the defense, and Battle is right at the key of it as he usually is. San Bodie into Peeler. Peeler starting to go for the shot and a foul on Larry Smith, and that's his second. That'll send Peeler to the line two shots as Smith picks up his uh, third foul to tell us now, so Peeler will be at the line for two. Well, you know, the ice underneath that floor, the floor getting a little bit on the slippery side right now, Steve. That's the one bad part of this. Peeler is 0 for 2 now at the line as he can't get that one to fall. He gets one more. Nine and a half minutes to go in this ball game. Illinois leads at 61-56 after trailing by 17 in the first half. Peeler makes that one. It comes to Smith. Larry better hurry. Gets it up to Marcus Liberty. Marcus has it slapped away. They don't call the foul. Here's Peeler driving. Nice slam by Peeler as he got out behind the defense. Giving the Illini a little bit of their own game. As they're back to within two at 61-59. The Illini coaches wanted a foul down here, but none was called. Here comes Illinois in the break, and Liberty can't save it. The drive is good by Urban. It's tied at 61. Boy, what an exciting basketball game from St. Louis, I'll tell you. We're going to return after this on the Illini Sports Network. Okay, Byron Irvin, he is leading the Tigers tonight, I'll tell you. He's had a sensational evening, 24 points in the game. Battle, Marcus Liberty comes back outside with it to Smith. Now, nice to Nick Anderson, goes for the shot and a foul on Gary Leonard. That's his third, Dick. And Nick Anderson, who has had a problem at the line tonight, will step up there. He is 0 for 3. You know, when you got a game where both teams playing this pressure defense, you're going to have some turnovers, and there have been several turnovers in this ball game. As Illinois has turned it over 20 times, Missouri 19. Nick Anderson's foul shot. <laughs> Illinois up by one. Anderson had missed three in a row before that. Maybe that'll get him on the right track. Two clutch free throws by Nick. San Bodie gets it back to Peeler. 
And now to Irvin over on the side. It goes underneath. Leonard has it slapped away and a foul on battle. That's three on battle. That is with three fouls. I thought maybe Leonard might have walked a bit before that foul, but they whispered the foul on Kenny. And Leonard will go to the line to shoot a pair. He's averaging uh, just about nine points a ball game. 67% free throw shooter at the foul line that is Gary Leonard. A lot of Illini fans remember his brother, Brian Leonard, who played uh, for the Illini from 1979 to 1983. That foul shot uh, makes it now 63-62 out of Belleville, Illinois. And we're tied up for the ninth time here in the second half with just over eight minutes to go, 63 apiece. Larry Smith off to Marcus Liberty. They throw it away. The Kenny Battle goes for it, and a foul on Leonard. That's four on Gary Leonard. Battle was going in for the slam all the way on that. Liberty is a little bit tentative right now. He, he almost turned it over that time after turning it over the second time. Battle got it, no doubt about where he was going with that ball, but Leonard got up there to block it, but he also fouled Battle. Kenny will go to the line to shoot a pair. He's three out of four from the line so far this evening. Pardo comes in. Marcus Liberty sits down. I was just about to say Illinois is going to have to learn how to take better care of that basketball, Steve, making a lot of very sloppy passes. Marcus is a tremendous talent, no doubt about that, but keep in mind he sat out last year and he's just now getting into the offense and getting into the flow of things, and it's going to take a little while. It took Nick Anderson a while last year, but uh, he definitely helps this team, and he will, but uh, in this particular instance, uh, Lou decides to sit him down and talk to him a little bit. Battle missing it, but Lowell Hamilton gets it, doesn't oh, make it, but what a tip in by Battle! Oh, my land! Battle had his elbow above the rim on that one. Illinois leads it by three, 66-63. San Bodhi gets it off. This is Doug Smith to Peeler, down on the side to Irvin. Out to Sam Bodhi. Driving around, going for the shot, and a charge on San Bodhi. And that is four on San Bodhi. Here's a look at Just Kenny Battle. Battle goes up, rather, Hamilton goes up for the shot. But Battle comes trailing down the lane and slams it home with two hands. Battle just uh, playing a tremendous second half. Here's the foul. Sam Bodie, now watch as he slips a little bit. We mentioned that the floor may be getting a little slippery as he slipped going up and definitely was the charge. And who took the foul? Kenny Battle on the floor. He's everywhere. Illinois leads by three. And Battle gives him a four-point lead. The clock, 7.35 to play. This one a long, long way from being done, I'll assure you. Metal five out of seven from the line. And he gets another one. Sam Bodie gets it back to Doug Smith. Here's one of the keys in the ballgame, the Illini, 17 to 10 on second chance points. There's a lot of those for the shot and a foul on Kenny Battle. That's four on Battle. That hurts with... I'll tell you right now, this is going to get down to not only free throw shooting being a big part of this ball game, but who's going to be left on the floor to finish. Smith went in with a pass to Irvin as Larry Smith slipped and fell, and Battle came in and got the hack on Irvin. Kenny takes a seat on the Illini bench and they get the round of applause. He's got 22 points on the night, but those four fouls could be a factor. Lou will keep him out for a while, but he's got to have him in there in the late going of this game. Leonard sits down, Button comes in replacing him, Sam Bodie is down, and Peeler back into the lineup. And at the line steps Byron Irvin. Irvin, who had 18 points in that first half, has just notched his seven one, seventh, now his eighth point here in this half. And Missouri's back to within three at 68-65, with 7.20 to go in the ballgame. Anderson. To Larry Smith. Wide open. Hamilton. There the Illini beat the Missouri press, and Hamilton cherry picking at the other end for the easy slam dunk. There's another steal. Bardo 
Boy, Smith does a job. It's picked up off of the floor and a jump ball. Urban Small and Coward and now play getting just a little bit on the rough side. There was a... Well, they've separated everyone now. Coward's the one that uh, was down on the floor. Let's take a look at the foul. Coward was down on the floor. Urban Small went down to try tie him up, as you'll see. And Coward felt that the Illini players weren't letting him get up. And he's down by the Missouri bench now. Byron Urban and Lowell Hamilton just had a few words right there, I'll tell you. The ball out of bounds after the jump. Here comes the slam again by Hamilton as he was hanging back on the uh, offensive end of the court. And we got that down easily. 70 to 65. Illinois leads it, and uh, as you mentioned, this is uh, quite a rivalry as we saw in that last series. Coward works in the backcourt for the Tigers. That's Nick Anderson picking him up. Six minutes, 50 seconds to play in the game. Underneath, they steal it away. Hamilton. I think Coward's a little uh, rattled after that last series. Bardo off to Smith. Bardo, three-point shot. Rebound, Button. Up it comes to Peeler. Coward, three-point shot. Well, if he is rattled, you didn't see it there. He bangs home a key three-pointer, his third three-point shot of the game. Larry Smith is just throwing the ball away for Illinois. And it's the Missouri's basketball at midcourt to put in play. Illinois has turned it over 22 times. It's amazing they had the lead turning it over that many times. It comes into Peeler. Back now to Coward. Underneath it goes. Smith makes a great move. Nice move. Doug Smith ties the ball game at 70 with six minutes left. The tenth time the game has been tied here in the second half. Almost another turnover, but Bardo does get it across. Smith trailing. He lays it in. Larry Smith with his first basket of the night. Over the line, Coward has it slapped away. Bardo on a breakaway. Foul on Button. He was hammered. That was, a, that was a no doubt about it foul. Bardo a little bit upset. I'll tell you what, uh, very physical basketball game here, as you knew it would be, because this is quite a robbery. You'll see the replay. Bardo coming down with a steal. He's going to take it all away. He's got Smith on the other side, but Button comes in and picks up his fourth foul. There's no doubt about the foul. I guess you want to make sure you stop the uh, basket. He did that for sure, but Bardo got hammered, and he will go to the line to shoot two. That's what's going on right there. Gill in battle with four. Bardo, Hamilton, and Smith with three. And for Missouri right there, Leonard and Sam Bodie and Button all now with four fouls apiece. That'll be a factor before this ball game is over, no doubt about it. It's a factor now, actually, with, with battle on the bench. And uh, Lou won't wait too long to get him and Gill back in the ball game, I wouldn't think. I'll tell you, the factor lies in right here, shooting those free throws, Steve Kelly, making the first for sure. You know, no matter what happens in this ball game, of course, uh, the Illini trying to win the game, as is Missouri. But I think it's a tremendous experience for Illinois. They've been in a, a 40-minute game for the first time this year. Bardo makes it. He'll get the next one. Marcus Liberty is going to come into Illinois' lineup. There is Church for Missouri. He'll replace Small, who will sit down. There seems to be, Doug Smith seems to be a little bit shaken up because the referee, Mike Curry, out of the Big Eight, is motioning over to Norm Stewart. Sam Bodie is going to come in, and I'll tell you, Smith. It looks like a cramp. Has, he either has a cramp or a twisted ankle or something. No, that's a cramp. If it was a twisted ankle, he'd be a little more pain than that. He just wanted to get over and get somebody to work that cramp. It looked like a cramp in his calf. There you see him working on it. Yes. Bardo goes to the line with his second free throw attempt. Illinois up by three. 73 to seven. What a basketball game from the arena in St. Louis. Bardo makes it. Well, the Illini are not very strong on foul shooting early in the ball game. They've gotten better, and they're going to need to over the last five minutes of this one. Here's Coward. We're going to get Smith. 
Gets it to Sam Bodie. Back to Coward. Long three-point shot. No. Rebound comes out in front. It's picked up by Peeler. Nice move. Anthony Peeler took it all the way in for the easy shot off the glass. And it's again a two-point ball game. 74-72 Illinois. We're down to near five minutes to play in the game. Smith to Bardo. To Lowell Hamilton. Another great game for Hamilton. He had 11 in the first half, and he's got 10 more here in the second half. Down on the side goes Coward. Picks it back in front, Irvin. Coward makes a great move on the dribble, goes for the shot. Oh, I don't believe it. Foul is on Hamilton. That's his fourth, so he that joins was, that crew in foul trouble. That was a big eight official that called that. It looked like uh, Hamilton might have been there to force the jump ball, which would have been a turnover. Looked like he had all ball from that angle, but they whistled the foul. We'll take a second look and see if we can see it from a better angle. But Hamilton was there stationary. As Coward goes up, he might have got him on the arm with the left hand, but at any rate, it was uh, whistled on Low Hamilton, his fourth. Coward misses the foul shot. A fourth foul on Lowell Hamilton, who has had a big night with 21 points thus far. Four minutes and 39 seconds left. So Smith will come back on the attack for Illinois. Picked up by Coward. Goes down underneath. Nick Anderson. Strong move by Nick. He just lowered the shoulder and went in with a jump shot. Peeler. Boy, what a great effort by San Bodie. North Stewart calls San Bodie perhaps the hardest working guy on his team, and right there was a good. There's shot Bardo him. all the way. It doesn't that's count a charge on Bardo. And that's four fouls on Bardo. Boy, Illinois may not have anybody left to finish this game. They've got so many people with four fouls. Battle, Hamilton, Gill, and Bardo all now with four fouls. Well, it's down to the point of the game, Dick, where you got to go with those people. Four minutes to go in the ball game. Four players with four fouls. This is Coward down on the side. The feeler outside. Irvin. Underneath Sam Bodie. They lose it out of bounds. It'll go back to Missouri underneath their own basket. Hamilton might have caught a break there. I thought he might have been whistled for his fifth foul, but they didn't, and the ball went out of bounds off the wall. So Kendall Gill checks back in. Uh, he comes in replacing Larry Smith. And Sam Bodie will inbound it. Or the Tigers come to the corner and Coward. Nice move. Taken away underneath by Nick Anderson. Comes out to Pardo. Right through the fingertips of Hamilton out of bounds. Irvin actually deflected the pass somewhat. It was hard to follow into his midst. Yeah, Irvin got a hand on it and it went off Hamilton's hand with three and a half minutes to go. Illinois leads it by three. Here's a foul on Nick Anderson. Illinois. Loafing a little bit, getting back on defense. The second only on Anderson. Marcus Liberty is the only other player that hasn't picked up a foul. Doug Smith will go to the line with a chance to... Kenny Battle will check back in in the meantime as Coach Henson uh, speaks with him. Three minutes, 33 seconds to play. 78-75, Illinois. Liberty is sitting down. There you see Marcus. Doug Smith goes to the line. 14.9 per game average thus far. Free throw good. Only now 13 points tonight. Most recent honors was the most valuable player of their tournament that they had over the last weekend at Columbia. That one also good. Narrows it to a one-point game, and Anderson is going to throw the ball away. Threw it right out of bounds. What he was looking for there, but uh, nobody was near that basketball. We're going to look at it. Nick needing some help. Figures somebody's going to go to it. He leads Kendall Gill too much. Nobody touches it. That ball landed out of bounds. Coward in the corner. Look at the turnovers. Illinois 25, Missouri 22. Coward with it to Sam Bodie. 
the coward to Sam Bodie. What a Anderson. rebound by Anderson. Comes to Bardo. Across to Anderson. Three minutes now left in the ball game. Here's Kendall Gill. He's just been fouled. It's on Doug Smith. That's, I think, three we've got on Smith. Three fouls on Doug Smith and Kendall Gill going to the line for Illinois with a one and one. Now, at this point in the ball game last year, that they got the Illini in trouble in many, many cases. Not hitting the foul shots down the stretch. They claim to be a better foul shooting team this year. We're going to find out, Dick, in the uh, final few minutes because foul shooting is certainly going to be a key here. Kendall Gill goes to the line. He's hitting uh, just about 70%. And he's one for one so far this evening. But uh, there is a ball point, uh, the point of the ball game now. And they've got to knock these down. Kendall at the line. <laughs> Illinois back up by two at 79-77. 3.04 left. Kendall now with 10 points to his credit. So Gill making both of them. And Illinois picking them up all over the floor is Coward now. Working it back against Gill, playing with four fouls. Down on the side, Peeler. Underneath it goes Smith. Back in front, Church starting to move. And what's it going to be? It looks like a foul on Illinois. The foul is on Lowell Hamilton. Hamilton. That's five on Lowell. Yeah, kind of a cheap foul, I think, at this point in the ball game. Hamilton was leaning in a little bit, but uh, Church got by him. They whistle Lowell for the foul, and that'll be all. Another good night for Lowell as he fouls out with 21 points. So Lowell Hamilton fouling out here with exactly two minutes and 53 seconds to play in the ball game, and Larry Smith is going to come in and replace him. Interesting on that change. Marcus Liberty is on the bench. He's going to give up some size with Larry Smith there. But I'm sure he wants someone that can keep a hold of that basketball, Steve Kelly. Yeah, they're going to try to protect that ball a little bit here in the final three minutes, leading by three, but uh, there's a long, long way to go. And basketball, the way it is with that three-point shot now, anything could happen. And uh, this looks like it's going to go right down to the wire. Greg Church at the line. He hasn't scored a point tonight on the season. He has made 23 of 27. And he's got a fine release, an 85% free throw shooter. Makes it 80-78, Illinois. Back comes Larry Smith. Lou wants Lou. a timeout. Nobody sees him. Now Kenny Battle sees him. And the Illini will take a timeout with 2.40 left. We're going to return after this on the Illini Sports Network. And welcome back to the arena in St. Louis. Dick Martin along with Steve Kelly. We've got exactly two minutes, 35 seconds to play in the game. And Illinois leads by 180 to 79. This is Nick Anderson in the corner. Comes back in front to Gill. Down to Kenny Battle. He makes it. It'll count. Foul on Missouri. A nice finger roll by Kenny Battle as he got position, he got inside position, took the ball, went down the lane, laid it in, and drew the foul. Battle having a great ball game. His best by far of the year so far. That was the fourth foul on Doug Smith of Missouri. And Battle at the line with a chance at a three-pointer. Well, I wouldn't mind seeing Smith foul out. He's been uh, forced in there. He's the tallest player on the court now, 6'10". Tallest player for Illinois is 6'6". Six, six. That's 17 points in this half for Kenny Battle alone. Going with nine in the first half. It's his best output of the year. He comes to play in the big games, no doubt about that. Down is Peeler working back in front to Church. They swing it over on the far left side. Now to Peeler, a long one. is up and out. Rebound. Scrap four. Church is out of there with it. Out to Coward. That's the fourth three-point basket tonight for Coward. 83-82, Illinois. 150 left in the ballgame. Bardo. This is Nick Anderson to Smith. 
This is everything this ball game is cracked up to be, no doubt about it. Larry Smith, Kendall Gill will shoot it. Rebound, comes up to Coward. We got a minute and 33 to play. Underneath the Smith, back near side. A long one is up and no good. And a rebound by Kenny Battle of Illinois. Illinois still leads it by one with a minute 20 left now. Going to take a little bit of time off the clock. Fingernail biting time, Steve Kelly. Oh, move by Bardo down the lane. No, but a great follow up and Anderson can't get it. A breakaway by Peeler, three on one, Missouri. The Tigers. to the arena in St. Louis, Missouri. Dick Martin along with Steve Kelly, and boy, we've got it going for you here. If you like college basketball, you are really seeing one of the better games that sure will be all year long. Illinois and the Tigers. 84-83, Missouri leads it. There's Illinois working with it. Comes out to Fardo. We're down to 35 seconds to go. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Comes back to Smith. Smith bouncing to battle. Can he battle for the shot? He doesn't count. They got him before the shot. It's a foul on Missouri, but they got him before the shot. Well, that'll put him at the foul line with some very big charity crosses. Take a look at it again. Most of the Illini fans in attendance here felt that he got the shot off before the foul. But the referee said no, the foul was before the shot. Here's a good look at it. They had to lose seven out of nine from the foul line. He's a good man to have there. I guess the foul was a pushing in foul on Sam Bode. Before the shot, we've got another timeout. Well, a timeout here from St. Louis, and we're going to return after this on the Illini Sports Network. Well, welcome back to the final 26 seconds of play. It is 84-83 Missouri, but going to the line for Illinois, Kenny Battle in a one-and-one. it up at 84. Illini had 19 out of 26 from the foul line tonight, so after a slow start, they turned it up. Battle making it an 85-84 game, Illinois. 20 seconds now, 20 seconds left. Howard with it into the corner. the ball broken loose Illinois gets it Nick Anderson throws it away but it's out of bounds touched by Missouri only 10 seconds left Dick Illini now can hang on to the ball make Missouri foul them but they're still going to have to make some foul shots as Norm Stewart wants to talk things over Norm Stewart is really upset Steve Kelly because he thought that his player was fouled. You will look at this right here. Yeah, he might have had a point there. It looked like Irvin's arm might have been grabbed, but uh, the official's not in a position to see it. Anderson made the steal. Coward knocked it out of bounds. You know what I have it back, leading by one, 85-84, with 10 seconds left in the ball game. Norm Stewart talking things over to instructing his team as, as Irvin there uh, looked like he might have been pulled on the arm. That was Kenny Battle that was going after the pass, too. We might re go back and reminisce somewhat of that first half. Steve Kelly, Illinois, with four minutes and 44 seconds to play in the half. We're trailing Missouri 39 to 21. They made up that deficit. They trailed by seven at the half. They came back to tie up the ball game at 43-43. And since that time, it's been back and forth, back and forth. The ball game so far in this half has been tied nine times. Here we go with the final 10 seconds. Hill to Smith. Ball game.
has been brought to you by Bush Beer, the beer with a taste as smooth as its name. And by State Farm Insurance and the more than 1,000 State Farm agents in Illinois who support fighting Illini basketball. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. By Squadron, superior broadleaf and grass control for soybeans in one convenient premix. And by True Value, your store of first choice. Once again, the final score, Illinois 87, Missouri 84. For Steve Kelly, this is Dick Martin saying so long from St. Louis.